Tony, obviously a sort of a new group blending now. Could you tell us the progress uh, you hope the Spiders have made to this point? Well, yeah, definitely a new group and obviously a new time in, in college basketball. Um, you know, one part of that, that uh, another change which has helped us in this particular situation is how much time we have with the guys. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, we can work out a fair amount during the during the summer period, uh, and then in the fall, we're not restricted uh, very much like we used to be as well. So you're able to get a lot more done in terms of it. Uh, still, you'd, we'd probably prefer to have a team that's been together two and three years, but uh, it's different right now, and we feel like the, uh, the guys that we've added, uh, whether freshmen or through the transfer portal, are very good, talented guys who can help us, and we're, we're appreciative of the time that we've had in the summer and the fall. Tell us what you like about this group. Is there a particular characteristic of this group that stands out? Yeah, I would say two things. I would say um, competitiveness, overall competitiveness, and speed. I feel like it's a very, very fast team. Um, you know, uh, ev everywhere on the floor, front court, back court, probably particularly fast. Uh, but everywhere, I feel like there's there's great team speed. You have been known as a coach who develops players and teams through years. I wonder if you've changed your approach with this group in terms of modifying the way you're teaching or speeding it up or anything along those lines. Well, yeah, I think John, that that's something that that we have to that that we're we're working through. Um, you know, do you do you streamline the playbook, so to speak, or do you? Uh, you know, let some of these guys' talent and ability to take over. You know, generally we feel like we play a way that guys have to play together and there's some, you know, um, you need a little bit of time to develop that. But at the same time, we feel like there's a lot of space on the court, a lot of ability or availability for guys, individual abilities to show up. So that's something that we're looking at and trying to make sure that we don't overload the guys with too much. Uh, but also we don't want to become too simplistic because we feel like you know, part of the reason we've chosen these guys and they've chosen Richmond was because the style of, face suited, style of play suited them very well. And lastly, how has Neil looked to you given his trip to Ireland? And his yeah, Neil looks great. Uh, he had a great summer playing with the Irish national team. He did that for probably about four to six weeks. Um, you know, and he, you know, for, for a, a really big guy like that, he's a gym rat. He loves to be in the gym. He works very hard. Uh, I thought he had a good season last year and, you know, can take a, a step. You know, the, the biggest thing I feel like for, for Neil, in my opinion, is being as aggressive as possible on the offensive end of the court. You know, we've established that he's a great passer. He really has a great sense for how to play, but just really trying to be a, a dominant inside presence. It was great to see um, different sides of basketball, how different people play the game differently. Um, and I think it helped me a lot, obviously, just learning, you know, different actions and stuff that I've been able to incorporate into practice and, and work on my game. So I, th I think it was a great experience and I loved every minute of it. When people see you this season, how might your offensive game be different, improved, modified uh, compared to last year? Yeah, so I've been in the gym this summer with, uh, with Grant pretty much since the season ended up until he had to go to Italy and I was with TJ uh, the other day so I kind of just stole some stuff from them um, you know worked on my shooting worked on uh, like my little 15 footers and floaters and obviously being a great post scorer so I'm pretty much hoping I can get a little bit of everything this year. With you guys being able to practice more in the summer and you know, right now how much further along are you guys now as opposed to if those restrictions were still in place. Yeah, significantly further along. I mean, in the past, you know, for example, maybe my first year, we couldn't, you know, you didn't do very much in the fall and, and you had practice starting on whatever that date was. Now we've been able to have team workouts, group workouts throughout the summer and the fall. So, you know, whereas, you know, in the Jacob Gilliard and Grant Golden group, we didn't do as much. We did team workouts, but we were more uh, playing and doing some concepts, whereas we've been pretty um, dedicated this offseason to making sure we get everything in, so to speak. Uh, so that has really been an advantage to be able to work with the guys that way. It's just a different kind of teaching. I feel like when guys are older, you're more just pulling guys aside and saying, hey, did you see that? Did you think about this? Um, 
Whereas now we're trying to get, you know, we're trying to get things in. And so, um, you know, when you do that, then you're probably being a little bit more deliberate uh, with how you're doing it. So, uh, so yeah, and that, to look at it from that perspective, probably a little bit more teaching and teaching the whole team. Uh, whereas when guys are older, they know kind of what's going on or what to expect from practice. And you're just trying to tighten some things up. Whereas this probably teaching the whole team, yes. Uh, vocal leadership seems to be a phrase I've heard with these yeah. guys. How much of a point of emphasis is that and what are you seeing and hearing? Yeah, definitely a huge point of emphasis. I think Delani Hunt is probably as good as we've ever had. You know, his willingness, his natural disposition to lead is very evident. Uh, he's loud. He's willing to talk to the guys, good or bad. Um, you know, he's really, really very good. Neil Quinn has stepped up in that department, Isaiah Bigelow. And it's something we're really trying because I think it's – I've seen less and less of it as I've, as I've been in coaching uh, that guys aren't as willing to, you know, you know, tell their teammate what they think they should do. Um, and so I think we're really trying to push and make that happen more. But guys like Delani, Neil, I think it comes naturally to them to be loud and express themselves. Um, to piggyback Bob's question, Neil had mentioned that it took him some time to kind of fit in to learn his spot on this group. Do you get the sense with this team, more guys are kind of knowing where where they fit in with this group? Yeah, for sure. I, I feel like, you know, that, that really is kind of the nuanced part of this is, you know, if you practice every single day for one month or six months or a year, there's still part of it that, you know, how do you react? respond after a game was it something that we all did wrong or was it something that you can do better in particular and you have to have those experiences now I feel like the guys that we brought in who are older the transfers are older that's easier for them they've been in games they've seen you know even though it's a different style of play maybe or different um, scheme they've seen where they can be successful and where they've struggled and so um, you know it, if the younger guys, you can see that they got to try to fit in and try to figure out like what is actually going on, uh, and that takes time. And that that part, a freshman, that's been the same as as all, for all time. The transfers have a leg up because, you know, they know what a workout's going to be like. They know where they've been successful. You know, they had a a great game when they you know focused on this particular thing and did that well. So in that regard, I think that's much easier for the older transfers. And for you personally, learning how to this who to coach harder, yeah. who to kind of prep up a little bit more with this, with this roster? Yeah, definitely. I, I think that, um, you know, we, we've always kind of, the freshmen have a lot on them, and so we, but they also have the most time, and so we've always believed in really trying to correct every single mistake they make, and then they'll come back and, and be better off for it. With the older guys, they make fewer mistakes, so that helps, and then you're really trying to guide them because they might not be, you know, they might not be too tired because they may and, and let them not mistake or not concentrating. It just might be that it's different and they've done it a different way for three years. And so that that kind of dictates to me more than necessarily the guy's personality of how you're trying to correct a particular mistake. Well, I definitely think that uh, a lot of it falls on me to be a leader, uh, be the vocal guy for this team. Uh, Delo's done a great job coming in helping out with that, but I think, you know, I, I probably have me and Jordan probably have the most experience playing college basketball on this roster, so I'm looking forward to, to having a lot of responsibility, and, and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be very fun. You're going to see speed. I think that's what the biggest difference from this year to last year was, is our guards are very quick. Um, you know, obviously our center is pretty fast, too. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, wings and guards are, are very quick, and I, I think you'll see a lot of up and down and a lot of motion this year. How have you guys gone about trying to gel chemistry? As we were saying, there's more new faces than familiar faces. Yeah, so I think pretty much when I left was the first day that everybody but Ryan was here. So um, so now that I'm, we've all been here for the last month-ish, uh, I think it's been a great experience. You know, D'Lo and King, they were here earlier, so we were able to get acclimated. You know, King is our, one of our roommates. so. Um, it's just been great getting to know all the guys, the freshmen, they're all great people and that's what coach does a great job of recruiting good people. So I'm happy they're all here and I'm ready to get to work with them. How were you able to become familiar with some of the new guys on this year's team? Um, just, just being around them, you know, like as I said, coach recruits great guys and, and I think that it's all been able to 
fit together pretty seamlessly. You know, um, D'Lo is great, very vocal. Jordan is hilarious. Uh, the freshmen, they're all fun and individual in their own right. So just being able to hang out with them, you're on the basketball court all day, you're in the gym all day, you hang out with each other after. I think that's also a difference between this year and last year's team is it's really one unit versus a bunch of like um, the redshirt freshmen, the, the Richmond veterans, and then the transfers. I think this year it's more blended well together. Yeah, I think um, last year it was hard because trying to figure out my spot in a team with a bunch of returners and uh, and I think towards the end of the year I started to figure it out and be more of a vocal guy um, and then this year it's just been right away. You know, even in the recruiting I've, I've been, done a pretty large part in helping recruit the guys over here. So, because you know it's my last year, I got to give it everything I got. So if it's yelling, yell, you know, play and lead by example, whatever it is, I'm happy to do it.